These aren't hard things to follow. But when we fail to follow these things, we put up these roadblocks. We put up these barriers to God's love coming into our life. It doesn't flow freely. It doesn't just flow into our lives like it should. Let me ask you this. How many of you have ever used a garden hose? Everybody? So everybody knows how that works. You cut the spigot off, water flows through the hose. You, you can use it to what? Water the garden, right? Wash the car, wash off the carport, spray something, spray the children in the summer when it's hot, right? That's a lot of uses. I can remember years ago, my daughter was very young. We were out one day and I was washing the car. And I laid the hose down and I was putting on some stuff. Well, she picked up the hose. And I don't know where she gets this from. She thought it would be cute to spray it on dad with the hose. <laughs> So she commenced to spray in that and, and you know, anybody else who would try to take that hose away from her. Right? So she, she had it going on, which is fun for a little while. <laughs> and eventually the game gets cold. And so I simply reached down and picked up the hose and... <laughs> well, you can't get it, right? Cuts off the water flow, doesn't it? Yeah. Of course, yeah. And when she looked to see where the water was, well, I did what any parent did. I released it and, and it went away. But, but that's a different story. The point is, I kinked it, right? I cut off the flow. You know, when we fail to, to obey God's laws, when we fail to do the things He would want us to do, when we sin, when we create those obstacles to His grace, we're putting a kink in the hose. We're cutting off that flow. That's how God's grace works. It flows from His throne up in heaven down to us, but we can put obstacles in there and we can block it. We can say no. You can say no to His grace. You can say no to His love. You can turn and walk away and choose sin. You can worship other things and ignore God. You can do all those things. He gives you freedom of choice. It's up to you who you'll worship. It's up to you what you'll do. It's up to you whether you'll kink that hose or unkink it. It's entirely up to you. You know, 